Over the next 12 to 24 months, this crypto narrative is going to absolutely explode. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the next 100x altcoin gem to keep on your radar. A lot of people research the best cryptos to buy now. So in this video, we're going to be talking about one sector of crypto that I personally believe will make more millionaires than virtually every single narrative in crypto. So quick disclaimer, this is not financial advice. Don't buy, don't sell anything we talk about on our channel. This is all for educational purposes only. Consult your financial advisor. And by liking this video and commenting 777 below, you're confirming that you are okay with losing absolutely everything and getting absolutely wrecked in this industry because you're a full grown adult. I don't have to insult your intelligence. You understand how risky crypto can be. And if you're okay with how risky this industry is, then continue watching this video because we're gonna be diving into several different projects and sharing with you one project that is a micro cap that has that 100X potential this bull run. Because with Bitcoin sitting above $60,000 and even rallying upwards of 63, almost 64K within the past 24 hours, over the next 12 months, we're about to see a massive amount of liquidity flow into the altcoin market. And by the end of this video, you will understand which sector and which projects of the altcoin industry that liquidity will flow into. So if you're feeling bullish, comment 777. If you're feeling blessed, comment 777. And if you're gonna become the first millionaire in your family tree, confirm it by taking your putter, grabbing the like button, and give it a tibbity taparoo, sink the putt, because we're doing it for grandma, we're gonna beat the SEC, and we're buying our house back with cryptocurrencies. Let's run it. All right, bull runners, welcome back to the channel. So Bitcoin is absolutely ripping today, 60,888 right now. It went upwards of 63, 64K. And whereas the altcoins, most altcoins aren't doing too much, as you guys can see XRP at 56 cents. And this is completely normal as we talk about how liquidity flows throughout the course of this bull run. It goes into Bitcoin first, and then we start to see a lot of large caps move like Ethereum, and then it moves into mid caps and small caps. So for example, you know, XRP, I mean, it's down over the past 24 hours, 56 cents. So with the suppression taking place with some of these projects in Bitcoin, you know, rallying to the upside, a lot of people want to know what other projects are the billionaires and multimillionaires diversifying into. And so I'm going to share those with you in this video in a telltale sign of, you know, what's happening in this bull run that we're basically about to go parabolic is, you know, Dogecoin is a good is a good telltale sign um, knowing that the meme coin craze is going to take off. But that's not the sector I want to talk about in this video. Dogecoin's up 14% the past day, 35%. And we talked about this in previous videos as letting you guys know to watch Dogecoin. Keep an eye on it because then that liquidity flows into other lower cap projects. So let's discuss those in this video. And let's first talk about what's happening with Bitcoin and let's compare it to the last cycle. Because as you guys can see here, during the last bull market cycle, you know, when Bitcoin broke out from the lows of COVID and liquidity was getting injected into the economy, the CARES Act was signed into law, which was a few trillion dollars for stimulus payments and everyone was staying at home. They couldn't go to work. And so that money, it flowed into the crypto market. And when Bitcoin broke this key resistance of about $12,000, it was off to the races right there. And so as you guys can see here, there's a key resistance at like 31, 32 K for Bitcoin. And when it broke it, you know, we saw with the ETF news, Bitcoin rallied up a 48 K. We saw this little tiny correction down to 38 K. People could argue and say, that that correction was the pre-having correction before we go absolutely parabolic, whereas other people were expecting Bitcoin to come all the way back down to 32K. So we either come back down to you know 30 to 35K um, this cycle or during the bear market of next cycle as we break out. So what we're looking at right here is in October of 2020 when Bitcoin broke out, we didn't see that deep of a pullback. We saw you know Bitcoin see the little micro sell-offs of like 5%, maybe 10%, but we didn't see much deeper 40% corrections until we blasted all the way past the all-time high to $42,000. Then we saw a 30% correction. So, you know, arguably that could happen this cycle and we could see an early market cycle top before a much deeper correction coming this year, you know, and this, this could be one of those, this is called an unhealthy uh, bull run if we see the markets just 
go explosive right now because we want to see healthy pullbacks. You know, that shows that we're building a strong support floor because, for example, you know, we de deviated from this upward trending support right here. And, you know, this is where people are expecting the markets to come back down to 38K. So at some point, at some point, we will come back down to retest this this trend line right here. Now, when that will happen, it depends on how parabolic Bitcoin goes. But what we need to look at right here is Bitcoin compared to other currencies because people use Bitcoin. They compare Bitcoin right now to the US dollar, which is an unfair comparison because you look at other currencies like Bitcoin to the euro and it passed the wick just barely at the all time high and it's getting close to past the all time high for the euro. Now over in the Canadian dollar, the CAD, you know, Bitcoin reached $87,000 compared to the Canadian dollar. If we look at the Australian dollar, Bitcoin reached $97,000 compared to the Australian dollar. And if we compare it to the JPY, Bitcoin absolutely crushed the all time high and it surged over 23% beyond that. Even if we compare it to the Russian ruble, you guys know with the, you know, Ukraine announcement, the ruble absolutely collapsed. And then, you know, I was talking about the ruble saying watch it'll rebound sure enough it did and look at bitcoin compared to the ruble so because the united states dollar is the world reserve currency people generally use bitcoin to the u.s dollar price chart but they forget that as the dollar devalues other countries currencies devalue even more and so the billionaires of these other countries and they look for solutions to be able to preserve their wealth and that's where they start to move it into you know real estate precious metals and cryptocurrency and so because crypto is that wave right now we saw so many shorts get liquidated as bitcoin absolutely surged to the upside i mean i checked my phone this morning and you know bitcoin was at like you know, 50, 57, 58, then it hit 60. And I was like, okay, Bitcoin just cracked 60K. Then like 20 minutes later, it's at 62, then it's at 63K. And so it just starts to happen fast. You know, once we break key levels, uh, we liquidate the shorts. As you can see, there's no leverage to the upside. The majority of leverage, $28 billion is to the downside. Now that doesn't mean we're gonna come crashing back down right now, um, but there will be a pullback at some point. But the cool thing is sit back and enjoy the ride. And if you're planning on taking any profits in the crypto market, you know, don't do that with the expectation to buy back lower because when we start to rip and we go really fast for the Bitcoin market, altcoins eventually catch up. And so you wanna be positioned in the right projects. And with Coinbase, they said they're aware that some users saw a zero balance on their Coinbase account and maybe you guys experienced errors buying and selling coincidentally, right? Right when Bitcoin was was going crazy, they closed down, you know, so their team said they're investigating this and they'll up, provide an update shortly. And it said your asset, they said your assets are safe. So if you check your Coinbase account, it showed zero. You couldn't buy, you couldn't sell anything. Coincidentally enough, look what happened with, you know, Bitcoin at that time. The price dropped from $64,000 to about $58,000. It dropped 8%. So could that have been for, you know, the insiders to be able to sell on retail? Or was that just an accidental outage? I'll let you guys decide in the comments below. But one thing we need to be aware of is what's coming next. Because when we look at the total two, which is the crypto total market cap, excluding Bitcoin, on the left-hand side, you guys can see what happened last bull run. You know, when we broke out of $170 billion market cap, we came back down to back test, you know, $124 billion. And then on the next rally out of here, we only consolidated for about a month. This was in November to December, you know, just a little over a month before we broke the complacency dead cap bounce high of $257, $260 billion. And then we didn't slow down and we just blew past the all-time high. The only real pullback was from $1.5 trillion back down to uh, $600 billion. And that was well beyond the all-time high. And then we saw a 60% pullback. So to think that there's gonna be a deep pullback right now, you know, look at the charts compared side by side for this. Once we pass the all-time high, you know, the markets could fly very, very quick to two trillion, three trillion, five trillion dollars for the altcoin market. And you could see parabolic gains if you're in the right projects. So right now we're just barely below the complacency high of about $1.25 trillion. And once we break this resistance right here, which is the middle of the range that I've been talking about in previous videos, we could do something similar to what happened back in December of 2020. And it's just green candles to the upside, absolute Valhalla, face melting gains, life changing games before we see a much bigger pullback above the all time high. So based on the past, we have less than a month to prepare. And if we look at Google Trends and we type in the keyword AI, artificial intelligence, you guys can see people are more interested in AI than ever before. You know, in 2022, you know, we were all the way down here at 10 out of 100 
100 in terms of interest. And right now, we're at a 97 out of 100 over the past five years as more people are interested in artificial intelligence than ever before. Now, if we look on coin market cap and we look at the top AI and big data tokens by market capitalization, the market cap of this industry is only $27 billion. And you guys can see over the past seven days, these projects are absolutely ripping. Near Protocol up 18%, you know, Render up 16, the Graph up 20, Theta Network up 68, Akash 22. So the AI sector is absolutely crushing it right now in crypto. In last bull run, I said, watch, the next bull run will be driven by gaming and artificial intelligence projects. So if you're wondering if it makes sense to be buying Bitcoin right now or to be buying altcoins, if we look at the Bitcoin price chart versus the total altcoin market cap, last bull run Bitcoin only did a 16x, whereas the entire altcoin market did over a 40x. So it's very clear that it makes more sense to be holding altcoins rather than Bitcoin during a bull run. Now, considering that the global liquidity is rotating into the entire crypto industry with companies like BlackRock giving Bitcoin the green light, the altcoin market is set up to have one of the biggest bull runs in history and a ton of newer low market cap projects are going to create life-changing gains for you to capitalize on so you can scale your portfolio to accumulate more large cap projects like XRP. Now, while XRP's price stays suppressed and sees a sell-off before we see XRP outperform Bitcoin like I talked about in yesterday's video, we're going to see sectors like artificial intelligence take off. For example, you see a project like BitTensor Tau sitting at $609, up 482,000%, and you might be wondering, is it now the time to be jumping into a project like this at a $3.8 billion market cap? Now. Down here, back in 2023 in October, is at $50. And so a lot of these projects, what happens, guys, is they stay silent for a long period of time, sometimes months, sometimes a, a few years, and then liquidity gets injected into them, and then they go absolutely parabolic. You know, I personally believe that this project is going to be one of the leaders of this bull run in terms of growth, but in terms of, you know, a good time to enter the project, you know, we're going to look at it on the chart and we're going to see, you know, what it's showing right now, because when we pull it up to the US dollar and we also pull up the MACD, we can see this, this bearish uh, cross right here on the MACD line crossing below the signal line. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that we're just going to go down right away because with Bitcoin rallying in that liquidity rotating into altcoins here over the next, you know, few months, post Bitcoin's having as well too. I believe this project will do well, but what we're looking at in terms of Elliott waves is we're seeing wave number three play out right now. Now, whether the top of wave three was at $700 or not, you know, this essentially is forming wave three right now. So if we push higher in the short term and Bitcoin, you know, breaks the all time high, Bitcoin goes parabolic, then I would expect, you know, wave number four to be coming in, you know, somewhat around Bitcoin's having maybe a, a few months, you know, after Bitcoin's having, and then we form wave number five uh, in the Elliott wave as this project rallies up. So, you know, right now is not necessarily the best time to be, you know, getting into a project because like this, because for example, what you want to look for is you want to look for, you know, bullish crosses on the MACD, meaning when we're below the signal line and we see below the zero line and we see the MACD line below the signal line, meaning this blue line down here is below the orange line. And we see a cross. Usually when a, a cross takes place, we see a price reversal. And on the other side of the scale, when we see a cross happen above the zero line, the further above this zero line, the stronger the signal. And as you guys can see, you know, BitTensor Tau has been upwards of $700 and you know, the MACD was upwards of 83. So the fact that the cross took place up here, you know, it's a lot smarter to be backing up a truck for a project and adding it to your radar down here before the breakout or down here post breakout on a pullback. That's what we look for on the charts. But bid tensor tau is one to keep on your radar to see, you know, when money flows into this project, then when we see it consolidate and a correction take place and we see, you know, the MACD line drop further down, the signal line drop further down, we're going to wait to see for confirmation when we're below the zero line for a project like this before we enter in. Now, another project, for example, is Render. You know, we talked about Render in previous videos and I said, watch for a breakout on Render to pass the all-time high and to go into price discovery. And sure enough, that's what we're doing uh, right now. We're close to it. I mean, we're at $7 and 30 cents. We're at $7. The all time high was at $7 and 80 cents at with a current market cap of $2.777 billion. So comment 777 if you guys are feeling blessed. You know, renders listed on all the, the top exchanges, over 16 pages of them, Binance, Coinbase, 
all the other major exchanges. And so in terms of liquidity, Render is going to absorb a massive amounts of liquidity as the AI sector grows. And the reason why is because Render has distributed GPU rendering on the blockchain because, you know, rendering for video games or for, you know, artificial intelligence projects in the metaverse, you know, the Render network provides near unlimited decentralized GPU computing power for next generation 3D content uh, creation. So you guys have most likely seen these artificial intelligence AI generated videos by like Sora or you see these new companies popping up that almost look pretty realistic with some little little errors here and there. But eventually in the metaverse, there's going to be 3D rendered artificial intelligence videos and the company that is going to lead the space in the crypto sector for this is Render. Hi, this is Jules Urbach, CEO of Otoy. Otoy has been at the forefront of GPU rendering for almost a decade now. Our product, Octane Render, was one of the first GPU renders to provide cinematic realism to film jobs and television. Today, it's used in productions like the opening of Westworld, and it's also now a big part of video game development, especially for AR and VR. Octane is a very special GPU software. There is really no limit to the amount of compute power and render power that you can throw behind a render job with our software. Our idea is that at a certain point, scaling GPU, GPU rendering power is too difficult. Rendering locally on a network and even in the cloud just hit a wall. It's impossible to leverage all of the GPUs in the world efficiently without some sort of decentralized system that allows that to be tracked and managed. Today, we're very proud to introduce the Render Token, which is a ERC-20 token that's based on the Ethereum blockchain. This token will allow anyone to participate in render jobs and be rewarded with render tokens that they can cash in. Everyone creating renders and creating content through this system has authorship and chain of title established on the blockchain permanently. Our goal is not only to create a distributed peer-to-peer -peer network of unlimited rendering power, but also to have a marketplace where services and assets and even modules built on the rendering network can be distributed and shared and monetized by everyone. There's nothing that's going to be rendered through the render token that isn't coming from artistic or creative intent. That's the whole point of the service. So there's a lot that can be done beyond just creating great artwork and media or even video games with this technology. There's scientific simulations, light leaking simulations for architecture that can be built inside of the rendering system. And this means that you can actually perform render jobs that are useful for the sciences and for research and get rewarded at the same time. This is a great use of the blockchain and of everyone's GPU power. Our vision as a company has been to democratize compute and rendering power, and this is one of the best ways to do it. So the render network is gonna be massive in different industries from media, augmented reality, mixed reality, the gaming space, medical, virtual reality, among many others. And they have a very dynamic and robust team. And when we look at the charts, I brought this up in a video a few months back talking about injective versus render. And I compared the two together, as you guys can see, all the way down here, you know, for objective on the left hand side of the screen from May until January of 2023, we saw this whole consolidation phase as the market was forming a bottom. Once we saw a breakout and we saw this back test happen right here on the 6th of March of 2023, on the right hand side of the screen, we saw the exact same thing taking place for render. We were forming a bottom. Once we broke out from this neckline of roughly a dollar, you know, we went to retest up the previous zone of support, which was the complacency stage for the dead cat bounce of roughly around like two bucks to three dollars right here and so we came upwards of two dollars we came back down to back test the dollar as support and then we form a new range roughly right around where the previous zone of support was as resistance from you know about the 26th of april 2023 until the recent breakout of the 15th of november and this is where i was talking about render versus injective right here from the 23rd of november through uh, February, and right now we're just seeing a breakout, very similar to what happened back here from the 30th of October to the 11th of December for Injective. You know, once we started to go back up to the all-time high, for Injective, we blasted through the all-time high, we went all the way upwards of $45, and if you remember correctly, this is exactly what I said in a previous video. Now also, so two projects I wanna talk about at the same time and show you guys which one is about to have a breakout is Injective and Render. Injective has had its breakout, Render is about to have 
a massive breakout as well too. Injective is at almost 40 bucks right now. It's cooling off for a little bit after rallying up from 17 bucks, sitting at $40 with a three, billion dollar market cap and it passed its all-time high so it's in price discovery so in price discovery you know anything's possible whereas render has not gone into price discovery it's all-time high is seven dollars and seventy cents so is injective a good play right now i don't think injective is is a good play because when you're in price discovery yes we could go higher but render is having a breakout right now render is at a 1.7 billion dollar market cap sitting at four dollars and eighty cents what happened for injective is we consolidated for an extended period of time for about 45 days for about a month and a half and so we're seeing that happen right now for render but it's just grinding up so the next move for render is really the all-time high and sure enough if you guys watch that video injective pulled all the way back down to 29 dollars, and now we're consolidating consolidating sideways at $38. Now, I don't think the rally for Injective is done, but I do think a better play to keep on your radar because we're right at the all-time high about to go into price discovery. And when we go into price discovery for render, we're going to see other mid cap and low cap altcoins in the AI space absolutely fly. So another example of a mid cap that's almost a large cap project is Singularity Net or AGIX. So keep this one on your watch list. It's in at 70 cents right now, and it's about to crack a billion dollars. And I believe this project is going to do very, very well this bull run. Now, in terms of, you know, entering into a project like this, like I said at the beginning of this video, what I like to look for is low cap projects with great teams, tech, tokenomics, and utility for mass adoption. Well, this project right here, it's a little bit larger of a market cap, but as more liquidity flows into the artificial intelligence space, the ones that are performing well right now are usually gonna be the ones that are gonna perform well during the entire bull run. So a big reason why Singularity Net is crushing it is because they're pushing the AI and artificial general intelligence future where singularity, meaning that AI and, and humans, you know, are working together and Elon Musk is perpetuating that vision with his brain implant chips, which are kind of creepy to be honest, but Singularity Net is the world's leading decentralized AI marketplace running on the blockchain and LDA Capital also invested in them during their early startup stage. Now, if you guys have ever seen that Sophia robot, you know, has done like an interview with Will Smith and then also has given speeches from stages. Well, that's Singularity Net's robot. So that helps for PR and marketing massively because I believe the robot also got citizenship in some country somewhere. So they have their AI marketplace and AI publisher where you can integrate AI services into your own applications. And they have a deep self-organizing network of AI agents running on the Singularity Net platform that can outsource work to each other dynamically, leveraging different AI functions like exchanging input output data, negotiating payments, enhancing the agent reputation system. So this pioneering AI network uh, in which the intelligence of the whole greatly exceeds the intelligence of the parts. So AI agents are gonna be massive over the next few years in crypto. They also have the AGIX staking and bridge where you can hold AGIX tokens by vesting them in staking sessions, which will also support the operation of their blockchain network. And the bridge allows users to transfer their tokens across supported blockchains like Ethereum or Cardano. And they also have OpenCog Hyperion, which is a long-term project to implement a complete scalable and open source general artificial intelligence system based on the principle of OpenCog. It's an open source platform where different AI strategies and methods such as the Nero uh, symbolic AI, evolutionary learning systems, economic attention, allocation, and machine learning and other AI approaches can collaborate based on a shared knowledge, Metagraph, or Atom space. Now, Ben Gertzel is the CEO behind this, and he's always known for wearing those crazy hats, kind of like Paul Stamets, the, the mushroom, the Michael Jordan of the mushroom kingdom, basically. So this guy's pretty out there, but he's an absolute genius behind this project. Now, one thing I like to look at is the charts, and I like to compare it to other projects. So very similar to what happened with Render compared with Injective, we can compare it AGI to GRP. And as you guys can see here on the left-hand side of the screen, AGIX saw a sell-off from 57 cents all the way down to the support floor of 16 cents. Very similarly, GRP saw a sell-off from like $900 all the way down to the support floor of like 11 or 12 bucks. And it's just barely breaking out right now, but we're still below this descending resistance. And as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen, we brought up the MACD as well too. When we saw this bullish cross, the MACD line was below the signal line, well below the zero line right here. And we were still in this downtrend, but we saw the momentum slowly start to shift from the bear 
bears over to the bulls. And when we finally crossed the zero line, we also saw the price cross above this descending resistance. Now on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see something similar happen where we saw the MACD line below the signal line. We saw this bullish crash happen all the way back on the 25th of September. We were in a downtrend, but the momentum was shifting over from the bears to the bulls and we're coiling up here in this descending triangle. Now, as you guys can see right here on the 22nd of October, 2023, AGIX broke out from about 18 cents all the way upwards of 36 cents. We came back down to 23 and now we're just ripping out of here, going absolutely parabolic upwards of 86 cents, pulling a 4X over the past 130 days. And so for GRP to break this descending resistance, the resistance we wanna watch for is all the way up here at the high, you know, right around like 500 to $900 up in this level. Now there are no guarantees that GRP is gonna break out or it's gonna retest these levels because anything's possible in crypto. But when you compare the charts together to AGIX compared to GRP, you could see some similarities here where eventually we find a bottom, we consolidate at the bottom for an extended period of time, and then we start to work our way out after the bears are exhausted. And now with the MACD, we're sitting right at the zero line. So this is why you want to keep GRP on your radar as a low cap gem. So I hope you guys got value out of this video. If you want to discover other low cap gems in our top altcoin picks first before these videos come out and you want to get early bird access to our crypto education platform when that's released, you don't need any previous crypto trading experience. All you need to do right now is go to bullrunners.com Click the button on the page, put in your best email address. You'll be instantly subscribed to our daily video newsletter where we give you the best information to help you prepare for the worst that's yet to come in this economy. Because together, you know what we're doing? We're backing up our truck all the way to the banks. We're grabbing the bags, packing them and stacking them, leaving no bags left behind because we believe the spending power of the dollar is gonna continue to go down in value. That's a fact based on inflation. Blockchain tech, distributed ledger technology and cryptocurrencies are going up in interest. That's the truth. And together, we're all going camping on the beaches of the moon. So I will see you on the next video. I will see you on bullrunners.com in the link in the description below. As always, you know what to do. Stay bullish.